This requires quite a degree of mobility and flexibility. So it's an exercise that might not come to you straight away and it might take quite a significant investment in time and energy, but it's well worth trying to attain. So when performing the movement, you want your feet wider than hip width. So this wouldn't be your traditional squat stance, it is quite a bit wider. From there, I want to shift my center of mass and laterally to allow me to perform the squat. But in order to do that, I have to bend my knee to drop down in. So, chin up, chest up, head up. I bring my center of mass to the side, bend my knee, and I'm into my Cossack squat. So as you can see, it requires quite a degree of flexibility and mobility to perform the motion. Now what happens a lot of people is in the bottom of the squat, down here, they can't keep the heel on the ground and they start to deviate forward. Now that isn't what we're looking for with this particular set, we're looking to get this heel back onto the floor. Now the kettlebell can actually allow us to do this by creating an anterior load and help us with the balance. But it also requires a little bit more strength to get up out of the position. So we can use the kettlebell to actually help us with this. So we clean the bell up, chin up, chest up, head up. If we are not ready for that yet, you can also use the, cat, the, the kettlebell to help you find the position. So, we can use the kettlebell to help us balance and to actually find the position in the first place. The last point with this is, try to keep the legs straight as we drop into the squat. So what we don't want is to have this knee bent end up in this kind of a position. We want to straighten and bend. So that is our Cossack squat.